Have you ever wondered how to make a jazzy style beat, but you don't know anything about jazz besides chopping some jazz samples? That's alright, but this Chunky Squirrel's got your back, and by the end of this video, you are going to know how to create a jazzy improvisational beat. By using the MPC One Plus or any MPC, you can use three very simple techniques that are not anything new, but just never talked about on YouTube. I spent so many hours making my beats this way and it's been addicting. This is how you are going to do it. Wow. Really quick, I'm going to start with a 16 bar loop to allow room for improvisation. I know that is a lot, but I'll have my tracks loop much quicker and you'll see how that is done soon. I'm going to set the BPM to 115 and I'm going to kick things off by loading up the Stage Piano plugin. I'll stick with the default Yamaha Grand and since I'm not using a sustain pedal, which makes the piano sounds last longer, I like to increase the reverb to make up for that. So I'm gonna hit the delay and reverb and over at mix, I'm gonna crank it up to about 50% and maybe you like 70 or 80. So I always use the 1357 chord style, which is like a chill, jazzy feel. You can use it in any music, whether it be synth wave, lo-fi, or your boom bops. It'll give your music an added mellow sensation, and it is not used frequently, so make your music stand out a bit and use this chord. Go over to pad perform, hit chord, and F natural minor is my personal favorite scale. All right, then you wanna hit here where it says chord, and right now it says one, three, five. You're gonna scroll until you see the seven. Okay, check this out. Hit overdub, then play start. Okay, that is all I'm going to do now, and you're going to realize that is not 16 bars. So let me show you how I can make that loop for 16 bars. Go to home screen, hit SEQ, click it and scroll to 32 beats. And the reason why I chose 32 is because each bar has four beats, and I only recorded eight bars. So eight times four equals 32 beats. But to be honest, I was not doing that math in my head. I just guessed around it was either going to be 16, 32, or 64 beats. You can also click on the grid mode, and you'll see a yellow line will form when you start scrolling and you can use that as a reference to help you. Step two, improvisation. I'm going to make a, another track and I'm also going to load up a, another stage piano preset, this time the upright piano. I think that's how you call Beckstein upright piano. All right, now go over to pad perform and make sure you hit notes. Now, before you start jamming, uh, make sure you're on the correct scale. So F and this is where you should be spending most of your time because improvis improvis improvising is a, uh, it's not a beginner skill. It's something that uh, comes from hours and hours of just practicing and jamming. So it will take time. Now you're going to do this. That is a pentatonics minor. This is a common guitar riff in genres like blues and rock, so let's do a four bar uh, riff with this. But first, let's go over to pentatonics minor. Wait, wait, wait. A quick tip here is that if you can't riff super fast, which is fine, you know, if you can't do like. That is okay. Uh, just change the BPM to a slower tempo. Ooh, let's say, let's just do 65. And then we could record it, play, and then change it back up like this. Overdub, play start. cool so let's bring the BPM back up and let's listen to it <laughs> that's pretty cool I actually want to go faster that's pretty cool yep now let's do another riff, but this time, over at Pat for Perform, let's use the natural minor. Just form a more of a modern feel.
Step three, blue scale. All right, now let's try the blue scale. So 99% of the blue scale is just a pentatonic scale that we just did, but it adds one note called the blue note. That one note makes riffing sounds slightly more expressful and soulful. So same thing, let's just uh, do a quick riff and you could also change down the tempo if you like. So I'm gonna go to pad perform and I'm gonna scroll over to blues. Yeah, I'm gonna save that right now. That was awesome. Step three, note repeat drums. So here you can add your own beat or anything. At this point, throw in your own drum style. However, if you want to use an interesting weird technique, then listen closely. I downloaded a free drum pack called Dirty Drummer Taster Kit and I love it. Now I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to hit note repeat twice to lock it and I wanna make sure I'm at 1 16th. And then I'm just gonna start hitting pads. Now with the note repeat, the hi-hats and the rolls, they're gonna be much more continuous and you can make some interesting combinations. And you can honestly make a pretty cool jazzy style drum beat. It's kind of like a crack parody version of the Whiplash drum solos, but hey, it sounds cool. Check this out. Okay, I think that was definitely more than three techniques, so my bad, but what makes all of the difference is practice. So make sure you re-watch the chapters in case you get stuck. And hey, take your time. Improv is not easy, but it's definitely worth it, especially when you can stand out more. Making your melodies from scratch, and you'll see better results in no time. So now, if you want to learn how to sample some opera music, you definitely want to check this video out right here.